Hi, it's I'm back with part two. Sorry, I got cut off on that message. And so I was just going through the divine counterparts energies and it was about the moon. And I've been saying recently about dreaming much more um, and having my twin appear in dreams a lot more. And I know that that's happening for quite a lot of us. And so this is so brilliant because this has appeared on their side, which is pay attention to your dreams. The moon brings messages from the realms of our unconscious through our nighttime musings. What are you giving birth to from your deepest self? So, um, you know, we were saying about the mirroring. So basically the dream time appearing on their side is so perfect because, again, that tells to me that we are heavily appearing in each other's dreams, um, which is, yeah, quite lovely, really. Um, because also this expansion of the cosmic heart and wanting to really move into the pathway of love and to realize that actually we're the miracle makers for our own lives and we are the creators of our own destiny. And so the more that they are waking up to that fact, the more that they realize that actually we're already in a committed sacred marriage to each other, right? So that has already been done. So if you see here, um, the hands are touching each other like this. And I said yesterday about the, the thing that my twin first said to me was that he really loved when we were at, like intimate with each other. He said his favorite thing was when we interlocked hands. And so again, seeing this card with the interlocked hands appear is so lovely because again, it's surrounded by the rose petal hearts. And so it is really about wanting to have that real romance in your life and that really romantic connection that only the twin flame can bring. Nobody else can do that, right? So that is why it is a gift. You are a gift for each other. And so uh, the other thing is, is just on that, I wear a ring on my uh, engagement finger. So basically this ring is one that I got. So when I first, I've said before, if you follow my channel, I went to do Reiki every day in a miracle church in Gozo, which is a little island off Malta. And I went sort of maybe two, three times a day for about three, four months. And... Um, when I was there, um, when my twin spirit first came to me, um, there was a ring in the, in the, there was a little sort of shop tourist thing at the back of the church and I bought it there. And of course it's not until you realize later on in your journey that actually I didn't really know anything about twin flames then, um, or anything that was quite soon, uh, at the beginning. And then I've always worn that ring. And then it wasn't until further down the line that you realize that you've always been in a sacred marriage with each other, you know, for, from the start of creation, basically. And so that's why this is amazing to see this here, because it is honoring the commitment that they have as a twin flame with you, because realizing that actually the cosmic heart once you realize your cosmic heart has always been joined, there has never been any separation, you have eternally been linked together and committed to each other because you have always been in a sacred marriage with each other, which is so lovely. Um, and so before I said that what they're thinking and fe what they're thinking and wanting is actually mirroring each other as well, because you, it's what they're thinking about is you with this, the rose and the healing and the, you know, basically your serenity and everything that you bring. And what they're wanting is to really, really sort of embrace that, right? And embrace that love. And so I said before that I'm going to just do check in the books <laughs> because I was like, okay, I know you want me to check this. Now, this is why it is quite amazing. And, uh, and it really does. Again, it makes me kind of like tearful, to be honest, every time because it's just kind of quite, yeah, incredible. So I'm going to just check number 15 in the first book, which is... I want you to clear all of the crazy thoughts that are going around in your head, making you fear our connection and question whether it is happening for us this time around. I'm here to tell you to stop right now. This is what they want, to create fear and doubts to block out the light in each of us. So it's really important to not let those fears and doubts creep in. It's the only truth that lives in our hearts, that lifts our souls and ignites our senses. Follow where your heart is taking you. 
Follow where your light is shining and know that we are holding the light of love together. There is only togetherness. There is only peace. There is only love. So don't let anything else come between us. Let love be yours and our only guide. Right? So that is why it's so lovely because it's saying, listen, don't let these crazy thoughts get into your head because this was in their thinking space, right? So I'm going to read now 51 from the first book. So, and you need to stop, stop, stop driving yourself crazy by going over and over and over things in your head. And what if this? And what if that? And what if I had done this? And should I have sent this? All of that mind chatter, just stop and know that you don't need to be thinking any of that stuff. Quiet your mind because I'm trying to tell you things. And you can't listen if you are scrambling around in your head all the time. It makes it really difficult for me to get through to you. And if you just stopped, quiet, for a moment and listen to your heart, you'd know that I am right there. Here, sending you so much love and so much tender, caring and compassionate love from my heart to your heart to help transform this situation. Please focus on the love that we have for each other and the love of being together and completing each other. The love of being in union with ourselves and with one another. Oh, right, so, I mean, it, it is like virtually just like having a conversation with them, right? Because this is what they're saying. Don't let those crazy thoughts get in the, in the way because actually what they're wanting you to feel is the union that lies within. So now I'm just going to read the same letters, number 15. So what they're, what are they wanting you to think? And number 15 from book two. Right, so number 15 from book two. I want you. It's plain and simple. I want you, just you, and only you, from this day forward, every day, every night, and every second of every day for the end of time, for eternity. You are the love of my life, the angel of a lifetime, my creation that lives inside of me, the other half of me that I long to be back with. I want my jigsaw pieces to come together, to be back in, as one, two hearts making a whole again. I want that. I want you. Believe me, that is all I think of. That is all I dream of. You are my dream, my life, my love. My sweet darling angel, I love you. Well, I mean, when he says, believe me, that's all I think of, then, well, that was in, you were literally there in the thinking space. And what they were wanting was to be able to reach forward and literally take on and embody and embrace this loving relationship. So I'm just now going to read number 51 to see what it says. So this is from book two. So. I want you to know that our love is deeper than the oceans, higher than the clouds in the sky, and more encompassing than all the oxygen in all the world, keeping all the animals and plants alive. Our love is what keeps humanity alive. I mean, look at what... <laughs> humanity alive, and it's the heat of the ages card. I mean, seriously... Oh, shivers. Okay, our love is needed to raise this beautiful planet to the next level. You know that this is our truth. You know that this is what we are here to do. You know that this is what we came for, to find each other, to find love, to embody love, to embody and emanate love, to radiate love and light and, the, and be beams of crystalline pillars of love and light. I mean, seriously? Seriously, this is what they're wanting and it was all about expansion of the cosmic heart and to live their love path and to literally, what did Christ do? He literally raised humanity, which is exactly what was written in that letter. I mean, that's what I mean. That is what I mean. I mean, it's just magic. It really is. It's like, oh yeah, it just sends shivers. It's just crazy. Right, so now the guidance to them on their side was then commitment. So, just quickly on the commitment card, because um, I will just read out what it says. Because a true commitment is a responsibility of the heart, mind, body, and soul. 
and this is a good time to make one. Partnerships formed at this time are harmonious and powerful. The Commitment card also indicates the natural evolution of a relationship, from its inception to a literal or metaphorical marriage. At the very least, there is a promise of fulfilment in some form. However, you must be conscious of what you're committing to. Be clear about the nature of your commitment and your responsibility to it. Others are more willing to enter into partnerships at this time. Remember that your partnership with spirit and the highest version of your own self will engage the highest self in another. Oh my God. So did you hear that? The highest version, your the highest engagement with the spirit in your own self will engage.